Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Nepal, this is Gabby, and together we are the Troublemaker Queens. Uh, our last destination was... Chiang Rai! So when we were making our travel plan to Chiang Rai... You can't tweet from that. What? You have to memorize everything and say to the camera. All of it? So, when we were making our travel plans to Chiang Rai province, which is the northest one in Thailand, uh, we couldn't find as much information as other parts of Thailand had in the vlogs. So, we wanted to help you guys and we tried out a lot of different activities and uh, attractions and those are the ones that you must do. We had to buy pants for Nepal because she was basically shorts. naked. So we started our journey in Chiang Rai with the signature white temple. It was very beautiful, the white color was shining like the sun and it had some amazing pieces of art. But according to the locals we spoke to, this temple is only visited by tourists. The locals prefer the smaller, quieter ones and to be honest, so did we. It was very pretty, impressive and Instagrammable but absolutely packed. It is only a 10 minutes drive from the city, so still worth a visit. Are aliens allowed to temples? Yes? Aliens allowed. Everybody yes. is welcome. Everybody is welcome here, basically. Something to be aware of in the temples is that there are some rules. We know it because we obviously broke them. When you sit in the temple, you can't point your legs towards the Buddha, which I did. And you can't enter with a hat on, which Nepal did. Also, make sure to wear clothes that cover your knees and shoulders, or you will have to buy them there, just like we did. Thankfully, Nepal can uh, go on the, for the, for the bus tour in Singa Park. Our next destination was Singapore, which is a very large farm you can visit and tour around. We heard that there is an amazing balloon festival in the park every other month, so please check your dates before visiting. Unfortunately, we did not get any balloons, but still we had plenty of fun. We paid 100 baht each one for the bus tour that drives through the park and stops in five attractions around it. Um, such as a swan lake, a tea plantation, a flower garden, and a mini zoo. You can also rent a bike and visit all those attractions by yourself, or try out their zipline and climbing wall. It's a very chill, green place. We spent around two hours there and we left way more relaxed than when we arrived there. We did also visit the Mae Fa Luang Arts and Culture Park and the famous Black House, which might be amazing attractions for art lovers, but not a must do to the average traveling Joe. That said, there is some cool dark art in the Black House and a nice restroom sign. This is the clitoris. <laughs> you want to make it happy? Show them how it's done. Happy, happy clitoris! This is the toilet sign, by the way. Basically, we rented a private driver. We agreed with him for a full day trip. He took us to seven attractions of our choice around the entire Chiang Rai province. It ended up being a seven hour trip and it cost us 2,000 baht. And we loved our driver. Okay. Yes, okay. hello. The next thing you must do is go visit the beautiful, enormous Lady Buddha, which located in the temple Wat Wai Plakang. 
This huge statue represents the goddess of mercy Guan Yin, and it's over 80 meters high, very impressive and a bit scary. It reminded us of the huge Jesus in Rio de Janeiro. As beautiful as it is on the outside, it's even better in the inside. For 40 baht, you can take an elevator which brings you into the head of Lady Buddha. There you will find, next to breathtaking view, very detailed and beautiful white artwork on all the walls. It was absolutely stunning and quite feminist. We are very happy we got to see it as it's not an obvious tourist recommendation and more of a hidden gem. It was very different from any other temple we saw in Thailand so far. The next destination was quite moving and emotional for us. We drove through amazing views into the Union Hill Tribes villages in Shanghai, which is an area of few villages where different tribes live. The most famous one is the Karen tribe, the so-called Long Neck tribe. You must have seen some insane National Geographic photographs of women with heavy golden rings around their neck, right? Well, this is where you find them. Sounds exotic? It was. And it is something you have to see and experience in order to believe. The entrance is a bit pricey, 300 baht each one, and there are some ethical questions around this attraction, but we have decided to go and see for ourselves. We walked through the villages and felt like we are back to the hunter-gatherer era. We saw the simple life those tribes lead and we were mesmerized by their kindness. It was a very grounding and strong experience, which is hard to describe. When we got back to the car, we were very emotional, in a good way. I genuinely don't know how else to describe it. If you are visiting Northern Thailand, do yourself a favor and don't skip this one. We have finished our day in the second most famous temple in Chiang Rai, the Blue Temple. We got there when it was already dark, but the temple was very beautifully lit. I think it even looks better this way than in the daylight. There is no entrance fee to this temple, and it's located very close to the city center. It has some amazing paintings inside, and overall a very soothing vibe. I guess it's the color. From there we continue to one of the many rooftop bars in the city center and enjoying some good cocktails. Always pick the passion fruit ones.